Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable if you want to block the do you want to allow the following program to run in your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we are going to start this tutorial off by heading over to the start button. And you want to left click on it one time to open it up. And now you want to type in GP Edit. Please note that this tutorial is only going to work for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. Specifically for Windows 10, it's going to be Professional, Enterprise, Education Editions, and so forth. There's only operating system for Windows that this is pretty much not going to work for is Windows 10 Home Edition. There are other workarounds for you guys, so I just want to put that out there. So instead of typing GP Edit, you could also type in Group. And the best match that comes up should say Edit Group Policy right above Control Panel. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. Okay, so on the front page you land on here, you want to double click on the user configuration area right here. And now that you've done that, you want to go double click on the administrative templates. And now once you're on that screen, you want to go and do the exact same thing for Windows components. And now that we're on here, we want to go and double click on attachment manager. And then the last thing on this list should say inclusion list for moderate risk file types. You want to double click on it. And you want to select Enabled right up here. And then underneath Specify Moderate Risk Extensions, in here you want to type .exe. And then you want to click on Apply and OK. Please keep in mind you're allowed to play around with these settings a little bit if you wanted to enable it for low risk file types and then disable it for moderate risk. You might just have to play around with it depending on what is going to work for you in order to turn this annoying feature off if it doesn't apply for you. Now, I would recommend if you have the ability to keep them all non-configured in the end. So if you are having an issue with one kind of file type here for a little while, try not configuring it later. So that essentially means you're turning off this filter block because they do offer some good in terms of security. However, there are a lot of redundant systems built into Windows, so it's really not the most necessary thing, especially considering how when you get the pop-ups if you want to allow the following program to run, most people will select yes, and even if there's not a verified publisher, so that's not usually the best indication if a file is malicious or not, because there are malicious files that can be digitally signed, even though it's definitely more rare than not. It's definitely not a great indication in today's day and age if a file is good or not to run. And as long as you have user account control enabled, smart screen filter, a good antivirus, anti malware suite, and some good web filtering tools, you should be okay. But I just want to put that out there that you're kind of opening yourself up a little bit here. Not that bad. So, I mean, it's really a judgment call you're going to have to make. But it shouldn't really be that big of a deal in the big picture. And like I said, I would recommend re-enabling it or turning it off by setting it to not configured at a later time but again that's completely up to you and just so you guys are all aware if you ever wanted to go back and change them back to what they were you just would double click on it again and then select not configured and then click on apply and okay so pretty straightforward either way you can always come back to reference this video but I do hope I was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial Goodbye.